Wake up. It's time to kickstart your day with Scripture Link's Daily Dose of Inspiration. Daily Dose of Inspiration. Good morning and welcome to this brand new day. This is Scripture Link's Daily Dose of Inspiration for Thursday, October 8th, 2020. And as you wake up and you start this brand new day, thank God for this day, commit this day to Him, use this day to bring glory and honor to our Lord, and use this day to share your faith with someone and encourage somebody. And while you're out and about today, take time to give God praise, because He is worthy of our praise, He is worthy of our worship, He is worthy of our thanksgiving. Our scripture reading today is taken from the book of Second Thessalonians, chapter number 3. And it's verses 3 through 5. Scripture says, But the Lord is faithful, who shall establish you and keep you from evil. And we have confidence in the Lord touching you, that ye both do and will do the things which we command you. And the Lord direct your hearts into the love of God and into the patient waiting for Christ. Friends, do you ever think about the how the Lord directs us and how the Lord guides us? If you never really thought about it, kind of pay attention sometimes. It's, it's it's kind of amazing the way God works in our lives. And Paul is telling this church at Thessalonica, he's saying the Lord is faithful. And he will establish you and keep you from evil. The Lord's going to make sure that we we stay on the paths that he wants us to be on. The Lord's going to make sure that we're protected from the evil things that the devil wants to do to us. You remember back in the story of, of Job, back in the Old Testament, in the Old Testament book of Job, before the devil was able to do anything, the Lord had to give him permission. And and I believe it's the same way, that the Lord's going to allow the devil to tempt us, but not beyond a certain spot. God's going to protect us from evil. He's going to protect us from the evil things that, that that's trying to creep up in our lives. And how is he going to do that? Verse number four says, And we have confidence in the Lord touching you that you both do and will do the things which we command you. God's going to trust that we're going to do the things and we'll continue to do the things that we read about in the word of God, we read about in the Bible. The principles and the the the, the, the doctrine and the things that we need to apply to our hearts. And God's going to trust that we're going to do it. And we are going and we will continue to do it. Then in verse 5. And as a result of that. The Lord will direct our hearts. Into the love of God. And into the patient waiting for Christ. As we get into the love of God. As we get in and we grow. In the love of God. We'll start having that patience. To wait for the second coming. To wait for the things that God has for us. So let me ask you this question today. Are you allowing the Lord to direct your life? Are you allowing the Lord to take control? I see a bumper sticker not as often anymore as I used to. But it said God is my co-pilot. No God is not our co-pilot. He should be in the pilot seat. And if he's not in the pilot seat of your life. Why not and what are you waiting for? Think about that as you go through this day and remember, get into God's word and allow God's word to get into you and then share that word with someone today. Have a blessed day. Mm -hmm.